Hi, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching with Elf Academy Sports Coach 2024. Uh, I want to talk to you about a session that I've designed today um, with the, uh, the, the purpose is to work on interchange of positions. Um, I think sometimes players uh, get into this kind of foosball mentality. It's uh, this is my spot, this is where it should be. Um, we, we lose the ability to interchange positions and switch positions and, and use that for um, to draw defenses out. Um, so the first thing I talk about is just basic interchange, just kind of giving them the concept. We even talked about having a, a verbiage for it. Um, ideally, you'd like your players to be able to just interchange and not have to think about it and be like, you know, verbal, uh, visual cues or just knowing systems. But um, in order to try to like promote creativity within our players, we, we had a, um, uh, a verbiage that we would say, if you said the code word, you switch positions. And we talked about how just if you move here and the other person moves to your spot, the defender has to make a decision. Do they go or do they stay? If they go, um, they'll leave a gap. If they stay, there will be a gap uh, while the interchange is occurring. So no matter what we're doing, we're, we're creating a gap and we're moving defense. We're not letting the defense stay put, just stand in their positions. Um, I always tell my players, making a, a defender make a decision is not what they want. They want they want to, hey, I'm marking this person, this is my job, I allow this, don't allow this to happen. They don't want multiple factors. With interchange, that creates multiple factors and takes them uh, out of their comfort zone. So within that, we're just trying to move the defense and, and get the defenders specifically out of their comfort zone. Um, so the way I started the session was just a, a passing pattern. Um, what I got here is um, the first pass starts from R10 to R6 in a 4 2 3, one here. The 11, 9, 7, 6, 10, other 6. So a pass out here, who then dribbles out to the spot where the... Um, Move him out a little just to make this make a little more sense. To where the uh, the eleven is wide, not staying there, and just to kind of getting the the six to dribble into them. They interchange here, just a little layoff that the uh, seven can take uh, a touch forward. Here we have oops, the nine and the seven switch, so the seven cuts in. The nine curls around. No, that's not the one I want either. There we go. The nine curls their run here. And the 11 is able to play a ball diagonally into the box through here. And we would just work that and all the runs would go and where then the 10 would make a run into the box or where did the, um, could the, could the six overlap here and then the um, 11 replace and cover defensively. Um, a lot of things we can go off and we just discuss, like, you know, what would you be doing here? How would you adjust to this? If this happens, what would you do? And we can kind of just talk through a lot of the scenarios we're going to see um, in this passing pattern and what, when we interchange and how we can find those looks. So from there, what I did was I had half the team get balls and half the team get on the outside of a circle or square, grid, whatever you have. Um... So I did my entire team. So about 22 players for 11 11. Um, these players are so black. And then four players the ball are here. And they all have a ball. And essentially what needs to happen is they're going to pass to a player on the outside. That player then is going to replace for them. And they have to drive oops, into space. So here there's a lot of space. It really wouldn't be that challenging, right? There's a tons of um, opportunities for them to just, you know, take a first touch and there's nobody over on this, even that's this quarter of the field. Uh, but when you have 12, 11 players, 11 players on the outside, what you'll find is you have a lot of people driving into the middle and they drive too quick and they don't pick their head up and they run into somebody or they their ball hits into somebody or someone cuts them off. Um, so it's about them having them pick, uh, pick their heads up and drive into space, um, find those looks, uh, Interchange positions here. We went then from, from that to having some patterns here. So it would be there, back, and then a layoff pass into the run. We did a takeover, and, and you kind of can get creative with however you want, just basically making a system of little passing patterns. Where I think passing patterns are important, um, and they have a place, but they can be a little tedious. This is basically you're creating passing patterns, but making them a little more dynamic. But the focus here is the interchange of positions that this player then dribble, then runs to where they were, and they run into the space that's available because of the interchange passes. From there, 
we went to and try to make this a little bit more dynamic. And again, I, you know, this is with 22 players, but for the sake of just the demo, um, I'll put five. So we have three yellow in the middle here. We have two yellows as bumpers. No, every time one too many. And three black players in the middle, three against three yellow players. Okay, so same concept now. If black passes to, they, pa they could try to control ball. We went five points to pass. We did this from unlimited touches for 10 minutes, uh, three touch for 10 minutes, um, and then two touch and one touch for five minutes apiece. So, but if the player uses a bumper player, it counts as a pass, but they have to interchange with that position. So we're looking at how to utilize space from there. So this player then became, came over here, this player came over here with the ball, and we played that game. And again, we're just kind of doing the same thing we were doing before, where they were getting them used to it, picking up their head and finding space, and now it's specifically against opposition. Uh, from there, we wanted to put this in practice. So I put a big goal here. And again, we have more players than this, but I'll put three players here, um, three players here on the field against three players in black on the field, three players in black off the field, and then a goalie each goal. Yellow goes down and attacks. Um, This uh, goal, uh, black is going to try to win the ball and score on this goal. So yellow goes, we're looking for interchange here, like maybe an overlap or um, maybe a, we cut here, this player cuts here, we interchange uh, positions here, we slot, maybe this player interchanges and then overlaps, whatever it may be, but we're looking for those motions to occur in um, you know, a, a realistic game. So what we're looking for is, especially with my team, I like to see um, us playing these interchanges and opening up defenses when they're already caught out. So on the on transition moments, um, when we're on a counterattack, I love that interchange of positions. It's just more things, you know, the defender's working back, they have to turn their heads, they're looking where their teammates are, and on top of it, there's attackers flying left and right of them. Um, I think it really opens up uh, a lot of space for our attackers to get unique opportunities to, to um, get towards goal. So that's what we're looking at, working on here. So if yellow uh, gets up here, Let's say they, he drove up here. Defense fell asleep here. Didn't find this guy in the back post. He shoots. He scores. Immediately, then, Black, at uh, the end line, has a ball, and they dribble in and begin a counterattack against Yellow. And so it's just constant transitions of attacks, uh, working on players. You know, the, the momentum is carrying them towards goal. They shoot. And immediately another team's coming at them and they have to cut back. All right. And we're looking for those counterattack situations and recreating those over and over again. But then you're looking for your players to utilize um, those moments of interchange and the, the dynamic runs that we've worked on the entire session. Uh, from there, I'd go to a full session. Uh, again, focusing specifically on are we making those runs? Uh, are we not just making flat runs that makes it easy for the defender to pick us up? Um, I'd love to hear in the comment section some of the things that you guys do. Uh, for teaching interchange, how do you uh, get players to do that? Do you have certain, like, hey, this is the look, or is it a uh, verbal cue? Is it, there's patterns? Is it, hey, we do this every single time, or do you kind of just let the players, you know, do what they need to do, and it's up to them? Um, so I'd love to hear that in the comments section. So once again, my name is Matt Carroll, world-class coaching, and I help this academy sports coach 2024. I hope this session finds you well.